Hey there Cancer, this is Renee and welcome back. Cancer, this is going to be your love reading for March. What's going on, what you can expect, what is happening in your love life, Cancer. Let's take a look. It's coming for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, we have the Hierophants. <clears throat> Okay, we have the Queen of Wands, the Fool, the Justice card, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, wow, the Devil, and the Four of Wands. At the bottom we've got the king of pentacles so i feel like this situation this may be your current situation or this may be a new situation but i feel like this person wants to come and bring you more stability i feel like this person is asking a lot of questions about you they may be asking for advice or asking for some sort of opinion from someone else um some kind of guidance on how to see this through. Uh, the Queen of Wands energy, I feel like this is very exciting, very exhilarating. This person has a lot of fire, a lot of passion, and I feel like they are falling for you very quickly. With this full energy in the Justice card, I feel like the if this is someone new coming towards you, there this crush is falling on you very quickly. They want to get the opportunity to talk with you, to speak to you about the things that they have on their mind. Um, but I feel like there's something, there's something underlying holding them back. You know, I feel like they're kind of battling between themselves. You know, should they or shouldn't they? Should they or shouldn't they? You know, but I feel like this person is falling very deeply for you. You, Cancer, I feel like you are working on something. You're working on some kind of stability. On maybe work or career. I feel like you're very focused. But I feel like this person that's coming in with this new offer, I feel like they like you so much. They're falling so quickly that they could be leaning towards kind of more obsessive behavior. Like maybe they may be looking at your social media, spying on you. Um, I feel like they're trying to find a lot of information. Okay, but I feel like this person is really obsessing over you. And this may be someone that you're around in kind of like a social setting. But I feel like if it's a social setting, it's someplace where you are able to be yourself. And I don't know why I'm getting the energy, but those are the specific words that I got. You're free to be yourself, okay? Um, there may be some sort of celebration, some kind of get-together where you're meeting this person. I feel like you could meet them at a nightclub for some reason. Um, some kind of get together, some kind of function. Okay? But I feel like this person <laughs> is very is coming in very strong. Um, I feel their energy is very intense. Okay? So whoever this person is is coming towards you. Cancer. I feel like it's going to be very interesting, okay? That's, yeah, those are the words that I'm getting. Very interesting. Tell me more about this person for cancer, please. Tell me more about this person for cancer. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. The Eight of Cups. And the Death card. So this is definitely someone new. This is someone new who wants to start something over with you. You may know of this person, but they really want to send you some kind of communication. 
they really want to give you some kind of offer some kind of invitation um, something that they want to convey to you this valuable information okay <clears throat> and I feel like they're very focused they're very focused on making this happen you know I feel like she's focused on this hierophant here ready to make something spiritual happen between you two okay and I feel like this person is walking towards you in their energy they definitely want some kind of new beginning um, I feel like this could be a very new chapter in your life with this new experience cancer a five of wands energy I feel like this person is very playful very competitive um, you and this person may be building some kind of friendship, some kind of interaction. Maybe you're just speaking with each other or maybe you're having lunch or, you know, some kind of situation. This may have to do with work, but I, I feel very strongly that this person has hidden feelings for you. Um, and I feel like with this person, they may be totally unsure about where they want the situation to go also. Because I feel like, especially with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like there's a lot of excitement here. There's a lot of passion. Um, but I feel like this person is very confident, very willing to make the first move if they need to. You know, they're ready to build something meaningful. They're ready. I, I'm, I'm getting that this may be a secret admirer that's coming through. Someone that you may least expect. Okay. But they do a lot of thinking about you. They think about you very often. You're in their thoughts. Two of Pentacles. You're in their thoughts. I feel that there's going to be some choice that you need to make. Some kind of decision that needs to be made. Um, hmm. Very interesting reading, Cancer. <clears throat> this King of Swords energy, this may be someone who's very intelligent, very savvy. Um, I feel like they're strategically planning how they're going to approach you or what they're going to say. Um, but I do feel like this person is coming off with a very playful nature. Um, a very outgoing person. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it simply allows and gives so I feel like there may be some kind of space between you we have reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best definitely definitely with those two cards there's definitely some space between you you may live in two different destinations um, two different cities you know or I'm really getting that you have two different departments if you work together. Okay. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So I feel like this person is putting in a lot of heart into the situation. They're, you know, thinking a lot about you. Only time will tell where the situation is going. Um, because I feel like it's still very new, okay? Um, like I said, I'm really feeling that this is some kind of secret admirer. Someone who may not have yet acted on their intentions, but this is what may happen for March, okay? 
uh, Spirit, give me a message for this person. What would this person say to Cancer if they have a chance? What would they say? What are their true intentions? <clears throat> I feel you even though we're apart. So, like I said, I feel like there's some kind of distance between you. There's something that's keeping you apart, you know? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I remember every detail of that day. So they're reminiscing and they're thinking about your interactions together. You know, you're you're deep on their mind. This person has a hard crush. They really do. They feel very hard for you. I hid who I really am from you. Secret admirer. You know? I left before you could leave me. Hmm. Interesting. And I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, so maybe if this resonates with you, maybe you understand that situation. I'm becoming a better person. And I feel like they're, you know, working on who they are to impress you. Cancer. I feel like that's their main motive. Is to do something that will impress you. That will make you turn your head and take notice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get a love oracle. See what's going on with this person for cancer. Talking. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like they're trying to get some kind of advice on what to do. Because they're very interested. They want to have a deeper conversation with you. But they're trying to find a chance. I feel like you may receive messages from this person. You may, you know, if you work at your job, you may receive some kind of sticky note, something like that. Um, that's what I'm getting. But I feel like th this person, if this is someone that you've already had an encounter with, I feel like they're going to send you messages. They want to tell you how much they're interested, okay? Okay, girl with the snake. So I feel like this person has set boundaries because of maybe things that happened in the past. I feel like maybe that's the reason why they're trying to keep themselves a, a secret. Because they want to make sure that it's safe to move forward. Okay? So they're setting boundaries. But I feel like... I, I feel like that they're finding you so charming. So appealing that they kind of lose focus a little bit you know maybe they're at a loss of words maybe they kind of slur their words or stumble over what they want to say hmm it sounds like very young love we have engagement ring wow this person is really looking for some kind of partnership. They really want to take time out to get to know you, to conversate with you, to, you know, uh, have some sort of friendship. <clears throat> this could be someone that you're already friends with. Then maybe you're moving to the next level in love. Maybe friends with benefits or, you know, something of that nature. But I feel like this person is getting feelings, you know. They're looking for some kind of commitment. They want to give a commitment. Okay. Give me a message for cancer, please. Someone in rising about this person. Give me a sign for cancer. Mm, we've got to let go. I feel like what they need to let go of is their...
in confidence for not making a move. The situation will improve. Communicate clearly. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person kind of fumbles over the words. Maybe they can't find the right words to say. You know? Very interesting about this person. <clears throat> we have there's something better. <laughs> and I don't know if they want to say yes or no. Both of these cards came out. So we have a no and a yes. So at the bottom, we have get more information. Okay, so I, I feel like this person is kind of digging for information. They, I, like I said with this justice card, I feel like there's some kind of struggle. They, they want to approach you, they don't want to approach you. They want to approach you, they don't want to approach you. It's like a lack of confidence. So I believe that's the reason why this yes and no came out here. Because they're like, this is that inner struggle that they have on what to say to you, what not to say, you know, how to go about it, how to approach you. Because they find you as so attractive, so appealing, you know, that they're just drawn to you, Cancer. Okay, so this is your reading. Hmm, as a matter of fact, no, it's not. I'm going to go ahead and take an angel card. Let's get one more message. I'm led for one more message. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so there's something the Spirit wants you to work on. There's some sort of lesson that you're learning in this situation. And I feel like you're being led by spirit to learn this lesson. Okay? Um, but Cancer, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Now, I do have all of the March readings uploaded now. So, if you want to take a look at your sun, moon, rising, your Venus sign, if you know that. And that will give you more clarity on whatever is going on in your love life or in your life in general. Okay? So, until your next reading, Cancer, many blessings to you, love, and light.